Happy Wednesday. We are continuing our focus on the parables found in Luke 14, uh, and we're thinking about pride. So yesterday I said, the way up is down. The way to get ahead in the ways that truly matter is to humble yourself, and I challenged you to do that. I want to take a moment today to make just one point, and I think you perhaps know this, but it, sometimes it's, um, it's good to pull these things out and underline them and highlight them. Please understand, we're never asked or expected to act in any way that is against our own best interest. We just don't understand what's in our own best interest. Like, in light of eternity, everything changes. And we're never asked to sacrifice in a way that's detrimental to us. These are, these are ways forward. These are opportunities to become more like Christ. These are ways to, to be purified. And so uh, we are coached to do some backwards kinds of living. And we're coached to go to the end of the line. And we're coached to suffer in some ways. I, this week, uh, Jeff Kemp has been in town, so I'm filming this a week before you see it. Jeff Kemp was in town to speak at a variety of different venues. And uh, he talks about his NFL career, 11 years as an NFL quarterback, uh, in which he had a lot of brushes with being great, but uh, ends his career perhaps without having the kind of marquee uh, career he, he would have liked to have had. And he says he, his sense from the Lord is, yeah, 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 Jeff, you know, your life was never about being an NFL player. It was always about other things. I just used your NFL career <laughs> to deal with your pride and to keep knocking you down because it's a very public way to fail. Right? If you throw an interception or you get benched or you get cut, I mean, those are very public ways to be humiliated. But he looks back now and sees all the, the sort of heart work that God was doing in his own life. And so I want to say, we're not at, when we're told to go to the end of the line, when we're told to serve, we're not doing anything that we wouldn't do. If you had perfect knowledge like God and a perfect will, you could do what was in your best interest, yeah, we, we would be serving, not pushing to the front of the line. So it's all about uh, pride. That's what this parable is about. What we want is not pride. What we want is humility. Have a good day.